In this video, we're going to be using Hags Oblivion and the Green Coat Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back. Welcome in, folks. Welcome in. As mentioned before, today we're going to be using Hags Oblivion, and Hags stands for Have a Great Shave. This is a soap out of Greece. The cost on this $23.99 for 4.02 ounces, and on our cost chart there, it is in the pricey range at $5.96 per ounce. The scent on this is amazing. I'm going to put the description for you on the screen right there. It's based on Paca Rabanne Invictus, and it smells absolutely superb. I love the scent. Scent strips for me right about that medium level, which I like, and it is really, really good. I love the scent. This is a vegan soap. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there, and there are a lot of <laughs> ingredients in this soap, as you can see there, but I had no problems whatsoever lathering it. I've used Hags several times now, and it's a very, very good soap, and again, it's out of grease, and we look forward to using this one today. The razor for today is the Green Cult razor and you can find this on Etsy. I'll link it below along with everything else. Uh, this is a CNC stainless steel machine razor and you can get it between 45 and 50 bucks. Wow. It's made in Austria and I had a really nice first shave with it and the cost being 45 to 51 depends on the color scheme you get and I am told they are working on some shorter handles too which will be very nice for me because I prefer a 3 to 3.25 inch handle but I've used this razor once and I really enjoyed it I gotta say for the for the money it is a very good shaver the fit and finish is not gonna be spectacular but it's good it, there's really no problem with it when you consider the price I think this is a really really good razor so let's get into it today and I hope you're having a great day so far we'll start by misting the face here we're just gonna have a great shave today the brush for today is the Yachi uh, aqua brush and we got a pretty nice lather I think here from the hags, we're using our 8 CNC black bowl today, and we whipped up a nice lather rather easily with no problems whatsoever. So, I will say, hags, if you haven't tried it, it is uh, definitely a good quality vegan soap. I think it runs with most of the good quality vegan soaps as uh, far as quality goes. It's a little bit pricey, but it's going to be a little bit pricier by virtue of coming from Greece. You've got to sort of factor that in some. But overall, I have enjoyed their soaps. I love their labels. They have some pretty awesome looking labels, I think. And we won't spend all day lathering today because I have a, another busy day in store. But let's be honest, every day is busy for me now. <laughs> so uh, I want to thank, again, if you didn't see the video yesterday, the update video, Moon Soaps. They sent a care package for my mother and it really lifted her spirits. So thank you again, Melody and Zach at Moon Soaps. And I, always, and I also want to remind you that uh, Andre from Lancaster Razor Works will be having a fundraiser at some point, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Follow him on Instagram, and we'll do what we can to raise money for Andre and Ukraine, and that'll be really nice. But let's get started here with the shave. Again, Green Cult Razor from Austria. Very nice. Not bad at all. This one is not, I wouldn't call it super mild. You get some blade feel which I like, um, honestly, for the money, I mean, 45 to 50 bucks American, it is not bad at all. It, it's quite a good shaver. And you know me, right now I'm looking for value and this is an excellent value and it's stainless steel. It's gonna last, last a lifetime. It's got some good efficiency to it. Feels good in the hand. The only thing I would change is this handle and get a shorter handle, but otherwise, very, very happy with the first shave I had with this razor. And the way it feels right now, I believe we're going to be happy with the, the second shave as well. It's a very nice razor for the money. Really no complaints at all. And no complaints with the hags either. Again, the scent on this is amazing. Really, really love that Invictus scent. It is spectacular, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Just makes you feel nice when you have a nice scent in the morning. 
sometimes a nice familiar scent. You know, I have this in other soaps or at least a one or two, but I wanted to try the Hags version as well and it's nice. And for me, I'm not one of those people that's hung up on if it's inspired by a, uh, a fragrance or clone, whatever, I don't need it to be dead on. If I want it to be dead on, I could just buy the clone. When I'm using the shaving soap, if it's inspired by and it's in the realm of, I'm okay with it. Now, if it's completely off and not even close, that's probably different because you're going to expect it to smell like the original fragrance. But uh, to me, it's not that important for it to be exact because if I want exact again, just buy the clone. You, know, you can fix that problem very easily. Um, I just want a, a good quality soap and I want it to smell great. So my sort of the way I evaluate scents on soaps are, do they smell great? I'm not really comparing them to the clone because for a couple of reasons. One, when you're using shaving soap, almost every person who's involved with making soap will tell you that soap is a not a good medium to try to convey scent. It's just not. And so you're gonna have, by virtue of the base, you're gonna have probably some interference with the scent in that regard and other things as well. So when you get a inspired so pop the top on it and go, does it smell good? And if it does, be happy with it. <laughs> you know, at least that's my objective. And this one smells great. How close is it to Invictus? I don't know, <laughs> but it's good. That's all I care about. So I know some of the fragrance people will get all wound up about that. And, but uh, go smell the fragrance, you know, it's that simple. <laughs> For me, I'm just loving these, soap. you know, I'm a shaver uh, and so, if the soap smells great and it brightens my day, that's what I'm after. Um, having it exactly reproduced is, is not that important to me personally. Like I said, if that's, the, if that's what I need, if I need it to be exact, I'll just buy the cologne and sort of spray myself down <laughs> with the cologne after the shave. All right, pass one was fantastic. Razor was very, very nice in that first pass. Again, you get some decent blade feel here, which I like but it's nice and smooth as well, which I also like. This is a good razor. And one of the viewers recommended this to me and he was not wrong, so thank you, Arthur. And if I'm saying you're wrong, your name wrong, if it's Arthur and I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. Um, but uh, he recommended this to me and I, I thank you for that. It is definitely a good razor and they're providing a good value, which you know, I'm really, digging, especially right now. So thank you again for recommending this. It didn't cost much. And it, you know, when it's 45 to 50 bucks and it's a stainless steel razor, it's going to last a, life, last, last a lifetime. You know, that was worth taking a flyer on. All right, we'll go ahead and re-lather here and do a quick cross pass while I'm over here. Sometimes I do this, sometimes not. Just depends. But yeah, the soap quality here, Hags, is <clears throat> It's really good to try it and see if you like it. I think as far as uh, vegan soap or honestly, vegan or tallow, it doesn't really matter these days. It's just a really good soap overall. I have really enjoyed them. Like the labels, like pretty much everything about them except the cost. I wouldn't buy every Hags soap that came out because the cost is in that range where I'm gonna be very selective, quite frankly. But, uh, it is a good soap. If you want to try one, I think you're safe to do so on a quality basis. You may not like the scent because scent preference is wildly subjective. And I get asked that question a lot. You know, uh, I got a question the other day. My buddy is about to start traditional shaving and I'm going to buy some sterling. What scents do you recommend? And the way I would approach that folks is try to find out what scents your friend or whomever you're trying to make a selection for likes, find out what type of colognes they like, and then make choices based off that. Because if you're base, basing them off what I like, he may not like that at, at all, he or she. So try to dig a little more, find out what type of scents they like. If you can find out the type of colognes and fragrances they like, then you'll be on the right path. And then you can go and buy soaps that are similar in scent profile to that and probably get some hits. And so today, I'd say if you like Paco Rabanne Invictus, you'll probably like this soap. And again, I'm not claiming it's an exact 
duplicate, but it smells good. Let's put it that way. And let's uh, re-lather for another cross pass here. And this shave has just been spectacular. I gotta say, it was uh, much needed. Because as I've been saying a lot, my days are extremely busy now. Um, you know, my mom requires a lot of care in getting things for her. And we're really just trying to up her eating because when she was in the hospital, she could eat almost nothing. And so now we're really trying to get those calories up and all day I'm trying to get things for her to eat. And, and she's very selective about what she will eat right now because, you know, you can have nausea still pretty easy. So, um, we're just grinding and my dad, you know, he's in a wheelchair and he's had real problems with mobility lately. Um, and so it's just, it's made it uh, twice as difficult because I'm having to do more for him as well. And uh, that just creates any spare time I have. It's kind of right now when I'm doing my shave before everybody gets up. Um, after that, it's all, um, it's work. It's, you know, helping them out. And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I'm happy to do it. I'm just sort of explaining why you're not seeing the lives on Instagram, you're not seeing instant responses to messages, emails. Um, I just simply don't have the time. It's uh, just a matter of that, you know. And sometimes you just, your plate gets full and you have to deal with it. But I tell you what, these shades are still spectacular every single day. And that starts off my day the right way. I know I'm gonna have a lot to do, but I know the shave has started it off. And kicked it off in good fashion and that's what we could all use I think because I know many of you are very busy where you are too and so I'm sure you can understand all right that was a very very nice shape I have to say the green cult razor I'm digging it it's not bad at all all right let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post stay tuned and all right we are back and off camera did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our paa alum after using the alum there was no stain so super smooth shave no nicks cuts creepers weepers irritation bubbles or troubles very nice indeed following the alum we did another rinse and then we toweled off with our lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by witches thayer's witch hazel cucumber we had an excellent shave today with Hags Oblivion. If you haven't tried Hags, give it a shot. This one smells amazing. It smells like Paco Rabanne Invictus and I absolutely loved it. It is fantastic in my opinion, really nice. I also enjoyed using the Green Colt Razor. Again, between 40 and 51 bucks American. I'm telling you, you can't beat it for the price. It is very good, nice and efficient. I really like this razor. Don't expect a showpiece. But honestly, do you expect a showpiece for $45 to $51 in terms of fit and finish? No. You expect a really good shaver, and that's what this is. It's very nice indeed. I enjoyed that a lot. We used our Yachi Aqua Brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug. We used our HCNC Bowl, and we shall finish things off today with the Wet the Face the Quiet Man Aftershave Complete with the floaties there, as you can see, or I hope you can see. And I hope wherever you are today, you have an amazing day and some amazing shades. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you that your shade, do it your way. And as always, God bless.